2021 Lexus LC500 Convertible Review, 8-Cylinder Elation But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Driving the 2021 Lexus LC500 stirs the senses more than most other cars on sale today. The sultry drop top pleases the eye with stunning design, while a world-class interior provides plenty to smell and touch. But it's the buttery smooth sound of the 5.0-liter V8 underhood that wins the sensory battle above everything else. Experiencing all of these feelings at once makes for a truly special time behind the wheel, but it also brings forth a worthwhile question, how much longer will we get to do this? With the EV age upon us, the rumbling thrill of a V8-powered convertible like the Lexus LC is a special one. And shy of a Bentley that costs twice the price, the LC is the best option out there. For now. A perfect 10 doesn't come without debate, but the LC500 is an absolute showstopper. Strangely, we don't love the nightfall mica blue paint on this test car, as it hides some of the LC's elegant curves and details. Our first drive car came in a gleaming shade of liquid platinum silver, which seemed to favor the LC's proportions better. Color aside, the exterior detailing is nothing short of mesmerizing. We adore the door handles, which are flush with the bodywork, and the taillights, which have mirrors built into the assembly to reflect the light more elegantly, and go flat black with not on. This car has the optional 21-inch wheels with a chrome and black 5-spoke design. The only questionable bit is the tan-colored top, which does match the interior, but commands too much attention when not stowed away. We have zero problems, however, with that same rich color spread throughout the interior, it covers the seats, dash, door panels, and even the steering wheel. One could argue that a secondary color to break things up might be nice, but this is such a unique interior that the monotone doesn't bother us. There are details abound, too. The seats feature gorgeous crisscross stitching all over the bolsters, which echo the tapering lines etched into the door panels. The exterior door handles got a shout out but it's really the interior pieces that deserve the attention. They stick out like tiny decorative statues, made from a single piece of aluminum. The LC walks a fine line between Grand Tourer and sports car with its specs, but when it comes to comfort, this is a Lexus through and through. Driver and passenger are treated to big, coddling leather seats, which include heating, ventilation, and a neck warming system built into the headrest. Standard 10-way seat adjustability and power tilt-slash-telescopic steering makes it beyond easy to find the right driving position. This car has the $5,290 Touring package which adds neck warming, a heated steering wheel, two fat Lexus emblems branded in the headrest, and a 13-speaker Mark Levinson sound system. That's a pricey package, but those are some great features for top-down driving. Like most convertibles, the backseat isn't for anyone that you enjoy spending time with. Any driver pushing six feet will sit in a position that precludes a reasonably sized human from sitting behind them. And if you do manage to squeeze someone in the back, the seat is so upright that anything longer than a 10-minute cruise is untenable. Rolling on 21-inch metal with thin rubber surrounding them, the LC gives way to any major bump in the road, we'd stick with the standard 20-inch wheels and save $2,695 in the process. Enormous potholes aside, the ride quality is otherwise very smooth with little commotion during our extensive road test. We're also thrilled with the roof-up noise insulation, which feels not too far off the hardtop LC. If you want to mute the sounds of the city, the cabin does a fantastic job with the car sealed up. Good news, there is a brand new Lexus infotainment system on the way that totally changes the tech game for the brand. Bad news, the LC doesn't have it. This car is stuck with the non-touchscreen version of Lexus's dreaded Inform infotainment. The setup includes a 10.3-inch center display paired with a flat trackpad for scrolling through the many menus and settings. To be blunt, interacting with this system is the LC's single biggest downfall. It's annoying, difficult to follow, and at times borderline dangerous considering how long you need to take your eyes off the road. The saving grace is standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which at least cut down on the never-ending menus, although using the trackpad doesn't make using either a fun experience. There are still a few wins in the tech column. The partially digital instrument cluster remains a fun touch with its blue rev counting needle and different themes for driving modes. We also applaud the 13-speaker Mark Levinson sound system which floods the petite cabin with amazing sound.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.